What's up, guys? Very cool. You guys got a lot of my face immediately, which is somewhat unnecessary. Um, I'm going to start this. This is this is Kenyo Poetry Live, and I'm Kenyo. Thanks for coming back. This is the second week that we've been at the uh, Saved Over Success Network, and it's pretty cool. I'm having fun doing it, and I think that you guys are having fun, too, if you're if you're watching it. You're definitely having fun. Um, so definitely you can watch this on the Saved Over Success Network. So what I want you guys to do first right now is go ahead and um, share this. Let's start off with some shares. I'm going to jump in. Boom. Let me let you see my screen so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to the Saved Over Success Network page. Uh, and I am... Moving around, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna find my video. Let's see if I'm on here. That's me. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and share this. If you guys don't know, I do a bunch of different media stuff. And so I'm gonna share it on first my Kenyo page, which definitely go check me out at Kenyo HQ on Instagram, but definitely on Facebook. I'm sharing it right now on Facebook. Hey guys, watch me live on. Uh, Let's say watch me live or Kenyo Poetry Live. Boom. Jump in there. Done. I'm not going to overthink it. One thing, I actually give some social media advice to people too, and I'm always like, don't, don't overthink your shares, okay? Because people are going to see it, and either they like you or they hate you. I'm just joking. Nobody hates you. Your life is blessed. But anyway, this episode, as I continue to share, is um, it's going to be about security. You know, because I think of the day and age we live in right now, um, security is one of our biggest weaknesses. Insecurity, right? We have a lot of people who just don't feel powerful. You know, you don't feel secure. So I'm share, sharing it on my Project Forward page, which is also my media page. Watch um, you do the same. Share it. Watch Kenyo Poetry Live. And shout out to the Saved Over Success Network. I'm going to put Watch Kenya Poetry Live on, and I'm going to tag Saved Over Success Network. If you tag me in it, go ahead and do that. That You can actually just type in Kenya HQ, and it'll pop up just as Kenya. So I'm sharing this on Project 4. Boom. That's all I'm going to do for now. I see a couple. I have also a group that I use for San Antonio. I know this is global, so anyone could be watching this wherever. I have a group that I use for San Antonio, and I would have shared it in there, but... I saw that um, Jania already. She she did she did the stuff and she shared it for me. So I'm going to and thank you so much, Jania, for watching. You're busy. You run this entire network and you're still dropping in. Jania Moore, the fire starter. Um, yeah. So you guys can follow me on all social media. I'm gonna put that up there so you can see it at Kenyo HQ on all social media. I'll put that at the top. Um, Welcome to another episode of Kenyo Poetry Live. I'm going to start it off with a poem, because I think that just makes the most sense. You guys came here to watch Kenyo Poetry Live, and I have poems. Um, and then I'm also going to be playing um, a poem from um, Veronica Lino on this episode, because she's super awesome. Um... And so this one is, this is actually perfect. I wrote this, I like, because I write a lot of stuff on my Mac, and I wrote this on August 3rd, so this was last weekend. And it's just about the fact that, um, you know, my poems explain my poems better than I do. I'll go into it a little bit more, but the theme of this whole show is security. So this poem kind of goes into that, and it's about how you decide what's in your life. And people don't realize that a lot of what they decide um, is in their life is based off of their insecurities. And it's weird, like you can look around you and then you can almost see your insecurities in what is around you. Sometimes, some, but that's not, that's not even always bad, you know, because, um, but it's not always bad, but we can also do kind of the opposite of that. It's almost the same thing, but instead of building it off our insecurities, instead of building stuff off our fear, we can build stuff up off our faith. So all around you, you can see things that are pre- manifestations of your faith. Um, so I'm going to read this. And before you start thinking that I do some witchcraft or something, no, never mind. <laughs> but I do, um, I did the, what was really inspired me uh, this morning to do this was uh, this awesome Bible passage that I read. 
Um, but anyway, I'm going to go into this poem because I'm not going to read that right now. Every so often you'll awake from the dream, falling at however many miles you were already traveling, the ground escaping from beneath your feet, the earth itself and all the universe erasing from existence. This is your challenge, your lucid dream, your chance to be free in the knowledge of who you are. And however you choose to feel, whether you choose to cry or smile, whether you choose to scream and dream of couches, bed shreds, bed spreads and charcuterie boards, or whether you let go entirely craving only wings, carving them from the aerodynamics of your own intuition, that becomes your reality. And slowly the materials of your energy begin to reform wiping your tears with the tissues of your own manifestation. So if you find that when it all settles down, you're surrounded by all the same things once again, you can be sure that those things are your chosen, truly chosen reality. Those are the things you love enough to create with your energy, for better or for worse, wife and kids, job and furniture, dream and chaos, light or darkness, all produced from the free birth of your own energy, settling in the precedence of your own legacy, a legacy that you should always be proud of because even the darkest past, even the most mundane routines glow with the existence of life. All actions are birthed in the human soul and whether they are destined for heaven or hell, you can be sure that heaven will exist and will be kept pure. So whatever your legacy, Whatever percentage of their gold is in the rocks you have mined, it will be purified by fire. Just like waking up and being purified by the wind while free falling after your universe disappeared. That's that piece. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it really goes into what I'm thinking a lot for, for this season. Because I know a lot of people are going into... I know last episode I talked about got to put on these guys these guys keep me fresh i know last episode i talked about um we talked about new beginnings and how that plays into um your own um sort of financial awareness and i'm also doing a lot of that this season tapping back into who i am and i love that um but a lot of it i just see, I, I see you know on whether it's on instagram or facebook i see all these crises of insecurity like like this isn't gonna happen. Like I'm in this situation. These people, oh, they don't. People don't say this outright, but these, these, this person has this. This person has that, and I only have this or that. And none of it. Those can be accurate indications of what's going on sometimes. But so often, the way that I hear it framed isn't even about. I'm not sure that I'm on my path. Most people aren't thinking about even whether or not they're on their path. They're more concerned about what they have in the moment, when really. The things that we can hold with these are always going to be temporary. So it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about. I'm going to play this poem from uh, Veronica Lino and give you guys some give you guys some poetry. One thing that I'm using this show for is to um, share a lot of poetry because I don't think poetry gets the love that it deserves as an art form. So this is going to be the number one show for distributing poetry, okay? You might as well call this Poetry Radio. That's right, you heard it here first. Uh, well, it's already called Kenya Poetry Live, though, so don't call it Poetry Radio. But anyway, I'm going to play this poem for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. This is a, this is a poem from Veronica Lino. Um, she's an amazing poet. Um, I'm trying to get it a little bit bigger for you. Um, we'll figure out cooler technologies um, to do this to do this next um next episode i know i keep saying that like i say i'm gonna do different things in different episodes and i'm kind of doing it i'm not completely failing you guys enjoy this poem though to um talking about r instead of you because we're in this collectively together this clip is sponsored by imvc.global what if we look like the change that we want to see in the world if you want to see more from kenya poetry live check out project4.tv we have become experts at the death penalty, disconnected from life, falling into a pit of our perpetual sins, abandoned by scars. We have wrapped ourselves around hatred and become blind to love. Our enemies dwell within our hollow walls, meeting at the doorways of our heart, 
The monsters dwelling from within, void, clear of consciousness and thought. Fleshed out by bitterness, our attitude is unruly. Life has become lost always within the puddles of the tears. We cannot seem to cry collectively. It has been drowning for our attention. Can we understand the stinging of death? We ought want to feel it less. Life, love, and the pursuit of happiness, in these words, compassion, used to dwell. Since then, we broke up. Following blindly to these trails, these wretched, loveless, and lifeless winds, etching trenches of selfishness. If we cannot see humanitarian problem in the fact that black lives have not mattered, if we cannot understand the value of life, then today I pray this poem prick our collective souls and deliver us, us all from ungodly lacks of sympathy so that we may act. What's up, guys? That was so cool. That was um, Veronica Lino reading that poem. Um, this was about two years ago on the set of the uh, original Kenyo Poetry Live. Let me get this out of the way so you can actually see me. And it charged me up, you know, because we say these things and artists have these creativity, uh, these different levels of creativity. Let me see what you guys are doing over here on the page. If anyone's commenting. Okay, I see you in there, Jania. Thank you. Number one poetry show. Exactly. This is basically the number one poetry show in the nation right now. So make sure to share this. Share it a ton um, whenever it is that you're watching this. But um, yeah, yeah. So we see all these things as artists. We see these things, especially poets, and we see these things that we want to change, that we don't want to be the same anymore. Um, and we don't always know how to do it, but it's just like it, a lot of it I've realized for me in my own journey is removing insecurity from people's lives like it's a huge thing for me I, I i find some security i'm gonna read you the i said i wasn't gonna do it but no one's gonna shame me out of reading bible passages on my own show i'm gonna read this because i want you guys to get it and honestly i think a lot of my ability to write poetry comes from the fact that my parents would wake us up at 5 a.m and they would be like my parents are nigerian so they'd be like it's time to read the daily bread and we would do it for like 30 minutes so we'd be reading and we'd be reading King's James version too, right? Because for some reason, parents, they like to do the, the King's James version of things. Um, but anyway, so I feel like that really developed, you know, like a sensibility for poetry in my life. Um, and this goes like this. You make known to me, it's, it's actually Psalm 16, ch uh, chapter 11. This isn't like a church thing, but I'm just going to read it for you. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with uh joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand this is such a short passage david was so cool to me because he was like the original artist this dude was feeling emotions he was making bad decisions constantly crying in front of god then going out and being the best greatest warrior establishing safety for people and one thing that i remember about his story was you know when things were going wrong under saul and we kind of live in that kind of area era right now where we have this you know we have an overconfident authoritarianism and when things were going wrong under saul david was in like this hut and this thing and he was thinking about his own life and he was super depressed and um, everyone started coming to him and he just became known as the person who fought for the underdog. So for me, when it comes to artists, and he's, he's potentially the greatest poet of all time. I'm going after that title myself, so I'm not sure how much I can promote David exactly, but we'll definitely say he was the greatest poet of about the 1,000 years in which he lived because stuff has changed. But um, I love that. You make known to me the path of life. So many people are wondering why they're here, you know. In three in three lines, you fill me with your with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. So I'd love it if um, no matter what it is for you, specifically if you need Jesus, pray to Jesus. But uh, no matter what it is for you, if you're in a place where you're finding um, insecurities, I'd love it if um, I'd love if people could really start finding ways of feeling secure about it. What would it take? Like, really take some time and think about to, that today. Like, what would it take for you um, to get to a place where you feel secure? Because um, then you'll start operating as who you are, you know? And a lot of it, I think, comes back to the same thing I was talking about in the last episode, which is 
connecting with yourself. Who are you as a kid? Who, what are those things that you've always been trying to do? And how come you're spending all your life trying to get back to that place, but you're spending your life not doing it? You can do it now. It's not going to be about the arrangement of the things around you. Your parents, they were blessed. They put you in a good situation. Um, and, you know, when you turn 20 or 19, you start learning how to do that for yourself. And sometimes we can forget how to be who we are at the same time. Uh, and that is not the way to go. I'm going to drop... Um, I'm gonna drop another one from you guys. This is a, this is from the same time about. This is a, a poem by uh, this dude was a great activist at the time. He's still doing great work. Um, this was from a, from a Kenya Poetry Live. So we started Kenya Poetry Live at this place called One Drop, which was which was in San Antonio, which has since then closed. Um, but we used to do this the first time we did it. We had like 50 people out there, and that's what charged me up to continue doing this show. And funnily enough, that show turned into um, Go Live for me, um, which is still my podcast, which is still um, active. And through that, I started having so many artists and entrepreneurs coming into my life. Um, and I was doing some other events at the time that I realized that my role in it, in creating, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of a self-plug right now. My role in creating my business was with Project Forward. I realized that what media has done to people um, through advertisements, um, through the lifestyles that they display, is they've preyed heavily, and even the culture itself of getting into roles and, and like auditioning and stuff like that, and the idea of deciding who you're going to be, um, it has removed, and not just media, media has, it's been a reflection of what society is in general, but it has removed from people their own um, sovereignty, and you can call it sovereignty, you can call it security, um, ads, the way that they prey on your insecurities, you need this, you need that. And so when I started Project Ford, I realized that for so many people, they just can't get to the place where they feel like they're enough to say, um, I'm going to start this thing, or I'm going to get my first episode of this show out. And people can have these plans for their businesses, for their art. Um, for years and not be able to get to the first step because the right arrangement of people haven't come into their life to tell them that it's okay and that's how they think that it works. Either you pay a certain amount of money and then someone tells you you're okay or you go to some sort of class system or something like that and that's how we're set up. You know, We're waiting for someone to tell us you're okay. Well, right now, guess what? I'm telling you that whatever your idea is, it's all right. And that's what I seek to continue doing um, through Project Four, and that's why I ended up building it. Quick plug. Um, it's not really a plug. It's, I'm just trying to, you know, reveal to you what who, who I really am. And so that business, as far as creating media, it's about all about creating media where you get to see artists and entrepreneurs who are just starting and figuring it out and declaring for themselves, I am secure enough to do this. I am sovereign over my own identity um, enough to... And at least in these situations enough to do it um yeah so and then and even the systems i do in in the background of that trying to replace some of the stuff that insecurity steals because insecurity uh it takes i'm gonna see if i can find this poem for you guys before i read this poem by jonathan uh before i play this poem by um jonathan david jones um but insecurity it takes from you um, friendship, you know, it can take from you certain family members. Um, yeah. And so it's just about getting to a place where we can replace, um, some of those things. I really want to read this, this poem, so I'm going to try to find it. Um, I have so many poems on my computer. Uh, okay, doesn't look like you guys are going to get it this time. I'm going to look for it while I'm playing you this episode of Jonathan, from, from Jonathan David Jones. And security can take all these things from you, so even I try to put people back in groups where they're developing as artists and they're doing things in groups because it's super important to realize you can build friendships. It's, it's true, it's not going to be as easy as when you're in elementary school because you care more deeply now, you're aging. So you're, the basis of your relationships need to age too, whether it's a love person or whether it's a friendship thing you need to start getting into relationships that reflect your true identity okay goodbye young david from down the street okay maybe 
He doesn't align with you anymore. He wants to keep going to jail. Cut him off today. And what I mean by cutting the person off is keep their number in your phone, but never use it. Simple as that. Don't answer as often. Answer with short things. Do not compromise um, on getting where you want to go. Another thought I had this morning is we got a limited number of years left. And you start when you get old like me, you start realizing uh, you have a, I'm not old, but relative to a 15 year old when you get older you start realizing that you have a limited number of years to spend and you have to spend every year like that if someone gave you thirty dollars and sent you to the dollar store some of you would out here being reckless just not buying snicker bars and stuff like that but hopefully um and hopefully they wouldn't send you to the dollar store but if someone gave you thirty dollars my whole point is like each one of those dollars could buy anything you want and that would be what you made your life up with that is such a good metaphor for life. Cause it's like each one of those years, you get to choose like one or two solid things. Like it's a year isn't that long. You get to choose one or two solid things that you're going to be building into your life. And that's going to be part of who you are. Um, and at the end of the day, it's not about building a material thing anyway, because you're going to get out of here. It's about building um, a legacy, building a representation of your soul that you can be proud of. So I'm going to drop this... Um, I'm going to drop this. I hope, I hope I'm, I'm saying some cool stuff and I'm not getting too preachy on this episode. That's what, that's what it's going to be about. Um, this time, let me see, get in the comments a little bit. Let me see what's going on. Hello to Greta Mackey. Thank you. I know you were on the last episode too. Jania, thank you so much. Um, Psalm 1611. Yeah, I hope I did say that. Um, and yes okay very cool so the, the comment section is popping share it with your friends tell them to comment i am going to start um downloading these and uploading them to my youtube page and i'm going to put the saved over success logo on it don't worry jenea they'll know where it came from but i'm going to be downloading these and putting them up there and um i always share them on on my facebook page so that's no problem and I'll probably be cutting up some clips and throwing them on Instagram because I think cool stuff is happening in these ones. It's a unique opportunity. So I'm loving that. So let's 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 go ahead and jump into this um, episode from Jonathan David Jones. And then hopefully I'll have a couple more things to say to you and maybe be able to read one more poem for you um, before we get out of here. But let's let's jump into this. Such a cool guy, and um, I'm not going to play this whole clip for you because it's a long one, but I'll definitely let you get a little bit of it. So here we are, this is circa 2016, Jonathan David Jones. Um, so, this one's called Status Update. If you're actually on social media, you'll catch it all. If you're not, uh, just bear with it. Um, I hope you catch it. Um, I'll go ahead and get started with the forms. So I would like to introduce myself, but I haven't developed any ads yet, so take what you can about what and where I am from my web address. www.blackhistory-freedom-backslash-backslash.com World wars waging stops black history stash to freedom backslash at the backslash stop. Come on. Hashtag pain, hashtag bloody, hashtag neglected, hashtag forgotten. Hashtag broken, hashtag slaughter. Hashtag remember me. Hashtag we fought, hashtag we made it, hashtag we're here. Hashtag where is it? Hashtag over. Hashtag do we make it or did we just get close? You see, I'm no longer around, but I progressed with eight, so. Though I'm no longer around, you can still look at my page. Because I made my mark in history. And I had to catch up with videos since sending a private message to get anyone to listen to me. But you'll always be able to find me amongst the chains. From following Link after Link. As my ancestors fight a war that fills the divines, writing down their pains, passions, and fears, time after time doesn't have to all reduce down to me and history of mine. You see, I was forced to watch children with them or even mine. Now, here's a tough thought to swallow. Imagine me, hatch and tack beneath the scorching sun, then turn that my wife and children can follow. It's less about segregation and more about separation. 
Because I didn't do this if I just had my people. But as my friends this unwillingly started to dwindle, I got away from few of you. And just as slowly as these long days, my family became nothing more than a page. See, the very next time I saw my wife was on a posted picture. The caption read, so slave. And as time progressed, oppressive turned aggressive and no longer was concerned about if her profiles would change. Say she was strange. It wasn't until I got my face in that book that I was finally able to leave my post. So not until I got my deceased face in that book was so I finally able to leave my post to see I was forced to fight a war from a country that had yet to recognize me as a man. A human. All because of my human. Man. That's crazy. But have you checked the status? Tagged in comments, named and degraded by distant dogs and demons with pale faces. Never know what to say, one thing, not even know where I was dislocated, so you see, we never had this place. It was displacement. But unlike now, no one was ever able to look at a page about me. All the while, everything about me could only be seen by looking at my racial profile. And I couldn't leave you any notes to read, so I couldn't afford to do leave you with Instagram pictures and desperate posts that you follow me. But just know that in order for us to stay on track, I have to forewarn you that I'll never be able to follow you back. Because forward progression is key. And I once rose to thought of day when people look nothing like me. But my eyes begin to swell as I scroll down my page to see that our status hasn't changed. The majority still reads slaves. Now imagine being amazed as I saw a brother stand up on the stage in the future about change. But that's where it gets strange because though most of us agree, we still act the exact same. Yellow, right? You only live once. And with that, that much I agree. But knowing that you know that is exactly what I'm ashamed of when I see it, this is what you decide to do with your life. Never once was I given the pleasure to be concerned about the report of my status being liked. All I cared about that the report of our status would be right. So instead of following the roles of world stars, get off your way to purpose. We were forced to live a life of slavery, and now I see people doing so on purpose. I've been following your videos closely. The constant reposting of excuses I'm getting old. Are you not aware that the average life expectancy of blacks at my time was 22 years old? We had already spent our lives in the same amount of time that it takes to lose. Constant laughing and knockout games and strong keeps us all pointing the very one thing that we saw so far. Hatred. So stop searching for your problems in your book and just face it. Many of you are confused about what to do, but the answer is so basic. Bring the love and stop the hatred. Don't just believe and change up what's made. Someone needs to draw the line and trace it. This is your story now. Your future. And your life. Many of you are watching your own people do wrong to pacify your own sins or something that it's all right, but we, we're willing to be ostracized before we compromise and conspire for your lives. And I'd appreciate it if you share. I came in search of a generation that cares you compromise your dreams so much that I think you have something to spare. Started from the bottom now, where? Where? Started from the bottom that got us here, but we need to be out there. You see, there was once a time. They're like the sweetest birds that sing. I heard from you too. Now, I wonder if I can get a retweet. We wholeheartedly appreciate your monuments and celebrations. The people already know who did that's going to But we become so consumed with our past that we forget about the future status of black history. Super awesome. Okay, Jonathan David Jones, your poem was too long, so you made me go over time. I'm just joking. That's super awesome. Thanks. Um, I thank him for coming out that day. That was a really fun night. I'm just like getting memories of it. Um, I, I love doing this episode. I hope I see you guys around. Um, I'm going to talk more. I'm going to read that poem. I couldn't find it, so I'm going to read it for you um, maybe next time, or maybe I'll do something new, because quite frankly... I think we talked in, we talked about this issue enough. If you need to hear more about security, watch this episode twice. Um, have a really great week. Remember um, to believe in whatever ideas that you're ready to start this week. Um, really connect with yourself. Watch the last episode. Get some ideas from that. I, I really hope that this show becomes something to charge people up. I'm way over time, so I'm cutting it out. 
Shout out to the Saved Over Success Network. Everyone who commented. Hope I didn't miss any comments in the last section seconds. No, I did not. Thank you guys so much for... Oh, good God morning. Wonderful comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Kenyo. This is Kenyo Poetry Live.